So I just logged into the Veeam Backup Enterprise Manager UI. As you can see, it's a really nice, slick HTML5 interface, which means you can use it any device, right? That's really cool. I could have done this for my iPad if I wanted. And I just want to give you a quick tour of Veeam Backup Enterprise Manager before I show you how you can restore your NAS backup files with it. So this is our dashboard. We have a summary of our environment. You can see we have some file shares added. This is based on Veeam Backup and Replication version 10. We get a quick overview of the health of our environment and what our multiple Veeam backup servers are doing, right? This product is really great for managing those multiple Veeam backup servers from a single UI, so you don't have to bounce between consoles. Now, let's take a look at our jobs, right? So we can see all of the jobs across all of our Veeam backup servers. Now, we can't do absolutely everything in here, but we can do most of what we would need to do as a backup administrator or backup operator here. So let's take a look at this file 04 backup. This is one of my file shares in Veeam version 10. And we can see here we have all our different runs. We had some issues. We fixed them. Now we're successful. If we click on success here and we click on our object, we can actually see all of the session details like we would see in the BNR console as well. So we can kind of keep track of what's going on, how everything is working, check that session information if we need to troubleshoot something. Let's go back to our jobs again real quick and take a look at a Windows Server backup job. So look, I have a V10 Windows backup. I can go to job up here in the corner and I can actually edit the job, right? So I can change my job setting. I can change my restore points. I can add virtual machines to my job. I can change against processing and I can change my job schedule. And that's the bulk of what someone probably is going to need to do in Beam Backup and Replication anyway. And again, instead of bouncing between multiple consoles, you can just come into here and look at all your jobs at once. This is also a really good view for ops teams, right? Because we might want them to go in and be able to do some job stuff like run jobs, restore stuff, change those jobs a little bit, but we don't want them to have the keys to the BNR kingdom. So you can't do everything here, but you could do most of what a backup operator would need to. And we can even get more gradular with permissions, which I'll show you in a different video. But right now, what we really want to look at is NAS backup, right? So let's go to our file shares here. We can see all of our different file share and file share jobs. So I have all my backup jobs and I also have a job sending my one backup to a secondary site, right? So I have two copies of the data in this file share since it's really, really important. But let's click on one of these shares right here. Let's pick this one and we're going to click the restore button and see what happens. So we're starting file level restore and we do have a couple of restore options from Enterprise Manager. So we're gonna click on our share here and soon we're gonna see all of our files. So we can restore our file to the original location with this button or we can download our file right to the desktop that we're working with right now. So we're gonna check this file, this Veeam Enterprise Manager secrets log, really, really super important and we're gonna download it. We're going to select the version of our file. Uh, we're going to say download the object, yes, and then BNR is going to do our restore for us. So we can see restore in progress. That's great to know. We can see in our log everything is starting, right? We're processing the file restore. We restore the file, and if we wait another second, something's going to pop at the bottom right here, right? Restored fail files are available for download. So if we click that button, it's going to download a nice zip file for us. We're going to open up that zip file. And I just restored one file, right? You could do multiple files. And we have our Veeam Enterprise Manager secrets blog, right? You should really be using Veeam Enterprise Manager because it is a super easy way to manage your jobs across multiple BNR servers, right? And it's also a great view to give to your backup operators. You might not want them to have the keys to the kingdom, but you want them to come in here and be able to manage jobs and file share stores and item restores and all that kind of good stuff. Backup files and Veeam Enterprise Manager.